What's going on guys, Billy here, and with the newest firmware update for the DJI Mavic 2 series, we get a brand new feature that allows us to use two remote controllers with one single drone, a feature that I've been waiting on what seems like forever, and also a feature I can't wait to use going forward, but in today's video, what I want to do is go over why you'd want to use something like this, and also how to use it. Now, this update is version 01.00.0400, and it is 227.1 megabytes in size to download. It comes with three changes. First up, obviously, is that dual remote controller support. Also, it fixes an issue where some of the GPS information was incorrect for certain photos, and it also fixes the rocket quick shot, where sometimes the gimbal would act abnormally. But in this video, we're going to be covering the dual remote controller support and the support for this only. So if you're familiar with the Inspire series of drones, it also allows you to use two remote controllers. One of them is going to pretty much totally control the gimbal of the aircraft. It controls the camera and the gimbal, and the other remote controls the position of the aircraft so you can fly it forwards backwards so one person controls where the drone flies the other person controls which way the camera looks that's how the Inspire works. With the Mavic, both remote controllers pretty much can do everything for the drone. It can fly it, it can use the gimbal, but one of them is a primary remote controller and the other is a secondary remote controller. So the primary remote will always be able to override the secondary remote controller. It's kind of hard to explain, so let's get into some tests and also let's figure out how to link up both of these remote controllers. Now, if you've ever had to link a remote controller to your drone, this process should be fairly straightforward. You should be pretty familiar with it. We'll tap on the three dots in the top right corner, head over to the remote controller settings, and then tap on linking remote controller. Now, again, this is gonna be our secondary remote controller, so we'll select secondary remote, and we'll tap on OK. From here, what we wanna do is grab our drone, the Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 2 Zoom, and tap on the connect button that's just underneath of the drone, hidden by one of the protective weather-sealed flaps. Now, once we get that green icon, the green status indicator, then we know that our remote controller has been connected. So this right here is what we see from the secondary remote controller. We see the live view coming in and really quickly, let me just go and jump over onto the primary remote controller. I've only got one device here, so it's a little bit annoying having to jump back and forth. But once I plug in on this remote, we also have the same exact live feed from the same exact drone. And if we tap on the three dots in the top right corner, head over to the remote controller settings and scroll down, you'll see that the remote controller type is primary remote control. Also, you can run through all of the settings and change whatever you need to about the aircraft. Now, let's head back over to our secondary remote controller, plug in our device, uh, and if we go up into the top right corner, tap on the three dots in the top right, you'll notice that we don't have the option to change pretty much anything about the drone. All we get is the general settings and also the remote controller settings. And at the bottom of those settings, you'll see our controller type is the secondary remote controller. Now, heading outside with our dual remote controller setup with the Mavic 2 Pro, you'll notice here that the secondary remote controller on the right side is unable to change our flight mode between sport mode, position mode, and tripod mode. On the primary remote on the left side, if we switch to sport mode, it'll reflect over on the secondary remote controller, but that co-pilot who's on the secondary sticks is not going to be able to change the flight mode. Now, if we go ahead and input some different movements with our secondary remote, like spinning to the right, we can override that with the primary remote controller by just, say, spinning directly to the left. So once there's an input put into that primary remote controller, it totally overrides rides whatever that secondary remote controller is doing. Essentially, any movement that is put into the secondary remote controller for the drone can be overridden immediately by that primary remote controller, no matter if we fly upwards. Right now, when the primary remote says, no, we want to fly downwards, and it's going to take whatever the commands being put into that primary remote controller is sending out to the drone. The same thing if we fly to the right here with the primary remote, we could say, no, we want to fly left, and no matter what is being input into the sticks on that secondary remote controller, it is going to totally override it. Now, the one thing that I really want to be able to use this dual remote controller setup for is being able to have one person control the aircraft while the other person controls the pitch of the gimbal. And if we begin a recording here from the secondary remote controller, you'll notice that as we go upwards with the secondary remote controller, we are able to pitch the gimbal downwards with that primary remote controller. And you'll see in a couple seconds, it's vice versa. So I can control the camera with either controller while the other person is controlling the aircraft while they're controlling against the position of the aircraft, flying forwards, backwards. This is going to make for a lot of really awesome shot opportunities. I can't wait to be able to use this with somebody. Right now, it's kind of lame because I'm out in a park just trying it by myself, and the gimbal movements are just god-awful, but I cannot wait to put this to use in the future. 
because I think I'm going to be able to get some really great shots with it. Now, this begs the question, why, right? Why would I want to fly with two remote controllers? And I can think of two different use case scenarios. The first one I already went over, you're able to have one person control the camera and the gimbal while the other person controls the position of the aircraft. And this opens up a lot of different shot opportunities because one person is just totally focusing on flying that drone and the other person is focusing on getting the shot. And the great thing about these drones is that you can actually pan the gimbal left and right with both the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro. So that person is able to look basically anywhere that they want to and get a really cool looking shot. Also, you could have two people flying the same drone on the same remote controller setup, you know, two remote controllers if they're going to be running a search and rescue operation. So one person can say be flying the drone, the other person can be searching with the gimbal. And also you just got two screens now. You've got two set of eyes on the same drone and that makes things a lot more efficient. And also you've got a better chance at finding what you're looking for. Now, also you could use this and I think that this was probably like the primary intention. You can use this to teach somebody how to fly the drone. So the primary remote controller can be given to the teacher and then the secondary remote controller can be given to the student so that student doesn't have you know the option to change all the settings and they don't go through and accidentally flip into sport mode which is great right and as the instructor you're able to steer them away from danger so I think that those two use case scenarios right there is really going to be where this setup shines using two remote controllers but here's the thing I'm on DJI's website right now and there's no way to buy a secondary remote controller. So unless you're like me and you've got a Mavic 2 Zoom and a Mavic 2 Pro, or maybe you crashed your first drone, you kept the remote controller and bought another, there's really no way to buy a secondary remote controller. You can also try to find them used on like eBay, but there's really nothing on their website. You can buy the smart controller. I'm not sure if there's an update out for that yet. Also, there's no update out for Android. That's why I was using one single device. So right now it's iOS only. It's a pretty cool feature and I really can't wait to use it in the future. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section and I'll be down there for a couple of hours answering. And then also maybe if other people have tried this out, they can help me out and answer your question too. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.